All right, I think we're gonna we're gonna do the that line there across the pasture towards the back the tree line. <coughs> but we're gonna have to put a post at the crest of the hill there, about halfway or so, and then that way we can side our line all the way because I won't be able to see the post down the hill there. Then we'll put that post in there, and then we'll put all the middle posts in. Okay. Yep. All right. Let's do it. Well, because this is just a guesstimate where we had that stake, we just kind of marked it to get that line, that sight line. But we actually have to measure it now from that end post over there uh, to heat to close to here to make sure it's a multiple of eight. Uh -huh. Okay, because we got to, all of our boards are 16 feet long, so it's got to be a multiple of eight or 16. Good thing I grabbed the measuring tape. Did you? Okay, good. Let's measure it. All right, hold it tight. I think that's good, huh? What, does this line look good? The fence line going like right straight here, it looks good? All right. Does that look like it's in line with that big oak tree behind me? Like right in line with it? Because I want it to line up with that. All right, we've got 80 feet right here. Now we got 88 feet right here. And then we have 96 right here. 96, right. So that's gonna be our next post right here. At the, and it's pretty much right at the crest of the hill here. 80, 96, right at the crest of the hill. Close enough. Right there. Is that good? Yeah. Okay, move that tape measure out of the way. Scoot for the tag. There you go. Is that good? That was that Let's dig it out with the post hole digger and we'll get the Brock Buster. Must have hit a rock. Down there? Sure. You want to do it? Yeah. Still Mac, just do that plain one first. Kind of bringing it around here because the front rail is going to come across this way and i want this one to meet up to it in the corner so i'm giving a little extra distance so i can miter that corner or bring them together so it looks complete on the outside on this side and this side i'm going to put the boards on the outside of the fence even though they should be on the inside in case the horses press against them but because this is facing the main area of the, that we'll see i want it to look really nice i'm not as concerned about it on this side So I got my eight foot on that post. 
16 feet. string. Yes. Kind of hard to do myself. I need Michaela here. Last post for the night. Yeah, how's it looking? Pretty close. Getting plumb there? Yeah. Circle plumb. Make sure I didn't move it. Give me one more on this side. You wanna throw a um, shovel full on top for me? Yeah, one more. On the other yeah, back side here. Okay. Whew, that's tiring on the arms. Country style. Yeah. All right, so we got, I can't see him. We got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got ten posts in tonight. Yeah.
Crush that rock. Crush it. I think I'm gonna get it. No? Yeah, that's a big rock down there, I think. We might be in trouble on this one. This one might have to be a T-post. Yeah. You can't have one T-post amongst a hundred and something wood posts. Mm. It would be lonely. Ready to paint. Put in after this dries out, so I don't know what you're gonna. Six, we got this that's super six, soggy. Nine. Oh, you're tearing it up. Nine, ten. 110 posts. 110 posts. All right, good luck, have fun. I'm not gonna get them all done today. Why? It's it's only 7 p.m. You don't think you can get this done in a couple Before hours? Before sunset? No. All right, for these fence posts, I'm using the Fence Coat brand, Lexington Paint and Supply, just a black crook lacquer. So this will be pretty good for the fences. We'll see. It's cheap. It's 
It's a highly economical black acrylic lacquer formulated specifically for wood plank fences in the equine industry. Well, that sounds like what we're doing here. So we'll see if this works. I like this metal can though. It looks green. green. <laughs> All right, so I need to Stir. mix this up. So I'm gonna use the two buckets and pour them back and forth. I'm gonna do that down on the ground here. Oh yeah, there's all the black on the bottom. So that's the easiest way to mix these up. Is just to pour them back and forth a few times. Put in what you're gonna need to start. That's probably good. Well, you want to be able to get the oh roller all the way down. I'm gonna use this this grid here that goes in the bucket. Like so. Yep. So just like that. Now don't do the tops because I'm going to be cutting the. Okay. I'm going to be cutting the tops off here. Mm -hmm. So don't do the tops. Plus I want it to continue to breathe. These posts we've had now. What I started this project what almost three months ago. <laughs> so I've had all the wood sitting out here and it's dried out over the last few months. So that's why I feel good about um, go ahead and painting these posts because it's it's dried out enough. I think I'm going to be singing like that. Take one down, pass it around, only 109 posts to go. I don't know, some, some, kind, of, <laughs> some kind of song like. Oh, that stuff smell. Oh, that's strong. Woo. Get my squats in. It's been a while since I did squats. This whole from scratch, building this ranch from scratch has been a workout in one way or another. Physical workout. I haven't had to go to the gym in a year. All right, only 109 more to go.